A square single turn loop wire loop of one centimeter on a side is placed inside a solenoid that has a circular cross section of radius r equals three centimeters as shown in the in view in the figure below. The solenoid is 21 centimeters long and wound with 90 turns of wire. A. If the current in the solenoid is 4 amps, what is the magnetic flux through the square loop? And B. If the current in the solenoid is reduced to zero in 4 seconds, what is the magnitude of the average induced EMF in the square loop? So the first part asks us to find the magnetic flux. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up that equation. So the flux is equal to the magnetic field times the area times the sine of the angle which it goes through. And in this case it's 90 degrees so it becomes 1. And we're not given the magnetic field but we do know how to calculate that from a solenoid. So B is equal to the permeability of free space times the turn density N times the current I. And N again, N is equal to the number of turns divided by the length. And by the length we mean the length of the solenoid. So I, I can go ahead and substitute in. So the permeability of free space is equal to 4 times pi times 10 to the negative 7th. And I can substitute this and this into my equation right here. So I get that b is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th times n over l times i. So now we've defined one of the variables for our, mag for our flux. The other variable is area. And so the area is equal to uh, the, the, for the area of a square, it's equal to the length of the square squared. And so just keep in mind that this L is different from, from this L. Also be sure to remember to convert both of your L's into SI units. So you want those in SI units. Now that I've defined all my variables, I can just simply uh, plug it, I can rewrite my equation. So the magnetic flux is equal to the permeability of free space times the turn density times I times the length of the square squared times the sine of theta, which is going to equal 1. Or it's equal to 4 times pi, or 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th times N over L times I times L squared. And this L and this L are different. When you plug in your numbers, I plug in my numbers, I get 2.15 uh, times 10 to the negative 7th Tesla meters squared. And then, so you already have your, your equation for phi. And then it wants you to calculate the EMF. And so the EMF, the EMF of an induced uh, current is equal to the change of the magnetic field over the change of time. And you can do one of two things. You can just take your answer and plug it in here and subtract. So this, whatever this is, is what you have, and then it goes down to zero as the final magnetic flux. So this is, an, this is the initial. Uh, the final magnetic flux is equal to, so final, that's a small f, is equal to zero. So final minus initial over time. Or what I like to do just to annoy my professor is to substitute that whole value into, into there and then... Uh, put minus zero at the end. And the answer I got when I plugged in all my numbers is 5.38 times 10 to the negative eighth volts. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video. And on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.